In this module, I'm going to go over some of the basic features when working with styles. Word's styles allow you to format a document quickly and easily. With just a few keystrokes, you can set up headings, create numbering, and change the appearance of text and tables. So what I'm going to do is go over applying a quick style, viewing all styles in a document, I'll show you how to add and remove styles from the quick style gallery, I'll show you how to use the format painter to apply a style, I'll go over clearing styles from selected text, and then finally I'll show you some things to be aware of when you're working with styles. Go to our test document. First, when I'm working with styles, there are two things I like to do. Number one, turn on my paragraph markers. And number two, I like to have the styles show so I know what is going on with my document, especially if I'm doing a lot of copying and pasting. It's also beneficial if you are working on a document that someone else created. So you can see if they applied styles or didn't apply styles. So I always turn on the style sidebar. This allows me to monitor my styles and make sure I remain consistent throughout their use in my document. This is very important, especially if I'm going to be working with a table of contents, because that's based upon the styles within your document. So in order to turn on my style sidebar, I need to make sure I'm on the Home tab, I come over to the Styles group, and I click on the drop-down dialog box. Once I do that, it's going to add the style sidebar. Now, if your sidebar is not anchored to the side of your screen like mine is, if it's out in the middle of your screen, double-click in the gray area and it will anchor it for you. The style sidebar is going to show you all the styles that are available within your document. And if it's a big document, this can be a long list of styles. Now, when you're looking at my style sidebar, you'll notice that it shows the style actually as a preview of what it would look like with the style applied. If yours doesn't look like this, make sure you check the box Show Preview. If you don't have it checked, it's just going to give you a list of the styles. Now at the top here is our Quick Style Gallery. We click on the More button, it's going to give us a list of all the featured styles. This is a feature that you can actually modify so that it includes the styles that you use on a consistent basis. Now one of the nice things about it is if I've got an area highlighted in my document, like the presentation overview, when I'm hovering over a style, it's going to show me in my document exactly what that style would look like. Once I click on the style, it will apply it to the document. Now like I said, it's a finite list of styles, so if you need to add or remove from that list, you can do that. So if we wanted to add a style to the Quick Style Gallery, for instance, if we wanted to ha add the header style, all we need to do is hover over it till we get the down arrow, click on the down arrow, and choose Add to Style Gallery. Now if I come up and look at my Style Gallery, I'll see that the header was added. If there's a style I want to remove from the Style Gallery, do a right click on it and choose Remove from Gallery, and it will remove it. So I can make this list exactly what I use on a regular basis, so it's quick and easy for me to go up grab a style and apply it to my document. So that's two ways to apply styles to your document, either from the style sidebar or from the quick gallery. Another way is to use the Format Painter. The Format Painter picks up all of the formatting from your selection, including shapes, pictures, cells, and applies it where needed. So let's come down to the body of our document and let's apply the style from Document Components 1. And if we come over here and look, we'll see it's Heading 1 style, and let's apply that to headers and footers and body. So the first thing we need to do is highlight the selection that we want to copy the style from. So we want to take the Document Components 1, highlight it, and then we'll come up to the Home tab, Clipboard Group, and select the Paintbrush. Once we do that, we can apply it to another selection. So we're going to come down here to Headers and Footers, and you'll notice how my cursor changed now. It's a paintbrush. So when I click now, it's going to apply that style to this section. Now if I wanted to apply it to another section, I'd come up here, click, and apply again. But if I want to do multiple sections at one time, highlight the area, double-click the paintbrush, and apply, and apply. Once I'm done applying the styles to the selections, hit the Escape key and it releases the paintbrush feature. So that's just another way that you can apply styles to a selection. Now let's move on to some things you should be aware of when working with styles. 
I've had documents where styles were so messed up I couldn't apply a style over an existing style in a paragraph. If this happens to you, the best thing to do is to clear the style that's there first and then apply the new style. So for instance, if we wanted to clear the style from body, we're going to come over to our style sidebar, come down to style inspector, that's going to open up another sidebar for the style inspector and then we're going to click clear all. What that does is it removes all style from the selection, sets it back to normal, and from here now we could apply our new style. Another thing to keep in mind when you're working with styles is that the paragraph marker contains the style information. If you want to copy just the text, do not include the paragraph marker or do a paste as text. Don't copy and paste and then remove the formatting. It's much easier just to take it first without the formatting or paste it without the formatting than to clean it up later. So if I wanted to take this information and paste it within the paragraph, if I do a copy now, come here and do my paste, I'm going to choose text only and that way it'll paste it in here and keep the format that was in the paragraph. My other option is to take it without the paragraph marker. Now when I do my copy and I do my paste, it pastes it in as the text. And if I come over here and look, it should be normal. Another thing to remember when working with styles is to check the styles because even if something looks like a style was used, that may not be the case. I've had many documents where people will actually manually add the formatting to headings, titles, and so forth instead of applying styles. And that causes problems when you go to do your table of contents. So always verify your information. Because for instance, if you look at this, closing one has heading two. Another closing looks like it has the same style applied to it, but when you click in it, it's normal. The formatting was applied manually to this heading so that it looks like a heading two, but it is not. So now I would want to come out and highlight here and apply it to this one. Now it is a true heading two. So those are just a few things to keep in mind when you're working with styles. Always make sure that you use your paragraph markers. Always view your styles to make sure there are actually styles in use and that it doesn't just look like styles are in use. If you can't get a style to come out properly, go in and clear all the styles that are in that selection first and then apply your style.